I'm not trying to lecture you, but what in your right mind made you think that getting a face tattoo from Karen, your mortal enemy, was a good idea? I just, I, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. I just don't. No, it's literally a pumpkin. It's not flowers. No. It's hideous. But that's that's more of an insult to her because that just means she's really bad at, you know, tattooing faces. So, um, I'm just going to cover up your tattoo for now because I don't want you to be publicly humiliated. Let me just grab a clip to clip back your hair. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. So, I'm just going to take this e.l.f. camo powdered concealer, or powdered foundation, sorry. Um, yeah, thankfully this one, it's very, uh, sheer, so, yeah, it just blends right in. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to do this. It's supposed to be very gentle too, so hopefully it won't be um, hopefully it won't be uh, irritating on the tattoo. But either way, we're still going to get that taken care of somehow. So I'm just gonna start. Yeah, it might take a few layers. So yeah, tell me more. I'm really curious to know what possessed you to do this, to let this happen. Right. Okay. So she uh, apologized to you. And... You really think that her apology means anything? <sighs> Bless your heart. I know you just want to, you know, forgive everyone, but Karen is the exception, you know? Like, she's not sorry. Usually, whatever Karen says is opposite. So any anytime she says anything nice, anytime she says anything, you know, to try and get you to trust her, don't fall for it. Just don't. If she says I'm sorry, she means I'm just going to continue torturing you. Like, that's just... She means... Yeah, don't mind my cuticles. I am pretty sure that I am allergic to gel. To gel nails. Because... Dang, it's like... Bad. The very like sore and itchy on the sides. Oh, it sucks. So, yeah. You know, and here's the thing. I remember when we first started working here, we met Karen, and I told you, okay. Not everyone who's named Karen is a Karen, you know? But I was like, but I sure hope that this Karen is not a Karen. And boy, was she a Karen. I 
I know. I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to stop you today. I was busy um, making bologna sandwiches, you know? So. You know when you get hair in your ear, like, poke in your ear and you're like, try to get it out, but it, it just won't leave. <laughs> yeah, I have one of those. Yeah, no, I am just exhausted today. I have been struggling sleeping lately. I'm very much a night owl and I'm very much um, an insomniac, so. I was watching um, this guy on YouTube the other day. Um, it's Cinnamon Toast Ken. And he was talking about how, um, like why it's so hard to sleep at night. And he found this thing that said something like, you don't want to go to sleep at night because you know that once you go to sleep, your day is over and you have to start the new day and you won't have like your free, your free time, your alone time, you know? And I feel like, kind of like that's how it is for me. A lot of it's anxiety, but then a lot of it is also like, oh, it's my time to myself, you know? So I don't know. Yeah, no, I get that. Yep. No, yeah, please don't put wax paper and mustard on your face. See what I mean? Like, just everything she says, do opposite of, right? So. So I'm just going to, ooh, that's dusty. I'm just going to take this off and then I'm going to, going to kind of buff everything out, kind of blend it in, you know? So. as gentle as I can. I really wish I had brought up a brush because I mean, I do have to toss it in the bag, but I don't know if that will do much. I'll stop.
Okay, that looks a lot better. I can barely see it, but we'll get that taken care of. Um, but for now, I say we go to a movie because I really want to see Barbarian. So I think that would be really fun. All right, and you're not in any pain. Okay. All right, well, I say we get going. We'll figure out what to do with your face, you know, tomorrow. So, all right, let's go.